there, this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Today I'm going to show you another tutorial on adding beads to wine glasses. This can be a great thing to do if you have, like say you have a misfit. doesn't go with anything. You broke the other one. Um, or maybe you just were out shopping and found a good deal, but they were mix, mixed matched. They didn't all go together. Hey, go ahead and, and do have some fun with it. Alright, I'm going to basically be using glass paint. It's Folk Art Enamels and this is their gold. I have a special tip on the top here in order to allow me to draw the lines. So, I tried this a minute ago, ended up wasting some beads, so I thought, you know, anything you do with art has to be trial and error. You know, just keep that in mind. I think I had had the paint on too thick. The beads, it's very possible, will run in the paint. So be prepared for that. And I guess uh, maybe just trying not to put it on t as thick as I had it. We'll see if that works better. Never had a problem on the, uh, the other tutorial that I did. So I'm, I'm not sure why, other than the fact that I did have the paint on really thick. So, I'm just going to go around the glass, draw on some lines. I was going up and down on the last one, because it does get a little thicker down here around the bottom. doesn't matter what kind of design you're, you're using, or if, you know, like the squiggly line, or straight line, or whatnot. doesn't really matter. Just really once you put the beads on and you're kind of smashing them down, you just want to have a good grip on the beads so that they'll dry in and be held on by the paint. When I did an, my first one, which was a long time ago, and I did a video on it, I had somebody say, well, why didn't you just use Mod Podge so that it dries clear and you just see the beads? Well, I, didn't, I really wasn't trying to do that. I wanted to do it with paint was something I had seen on Pinterest. And at that point I was doing some videos based on things I would see on there if they were as easy to do, worked as well as it showed, you know, that kind of thing. So I, re I really did like it. I liked how it turned out. Did it with white paint. And like I said, this one I'm doing with the gold just to switch it up a little bit. And we'll see. It's just a, another idea of things to do, something fun and creative to do with your glassware. I know a lot of people have purchased glass from dollar stores and have been very happy with those. So if you're someone that wants to try it, give that a try. You, know, you don't have to spend a lot of money on it. It's a fun, actually a fun little activity to do even with kids. Not necessarily that you have to get them wine glasses, I don't mean that, but you know they can do it on regular or even plastic actually because you aren't going to bake this. This is not something that's going to be put in the oven. So it's very important that when you're looking for a glass paint, when you're doing this type of a project, that it can cure by air drying. If it's a paint that has to be baked in order to dry or be fully cured, it's not going to work if you have to put it in the oven. Actually, this is kind of fun looking just drawing the lines on it. Kind of reminds me of a dandelion. If you're new to my channel, then make sure that you hit the subscribe button that you see down below and make sure that you also hit the notification bell that pops up. That way you'll be alerted whenever I post something new. If you like my video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And I would love to hear from you. Have you ever tried to do this type of uh, beading on a glass? If you have, let me know down below. Say, yes, I have. If you've never done it, maybe you want to give it a try, let me know if this is something you think you might want to try. Now, I'm just basically on here, 
I should have a pan underneath me to catch these beads, but I do have some paper under it. I think I threw my metal tin away, so I don't have that anymore to catch my beads or my glitter. I forget what I did with it. I must have done some type of a project with it. But anyways, that's something I do recommend that you have something under it to catch the beads that are not going on the glass or that come off, because some will come off. You know, expect that. Some will actually fall off. They won't adhere to the paint. So when this dries, I would give it at least 24 hours and then make sure that you do come back and brush off any of the, the beads that did not stick, um, which there will be some. Expect that. I will go over this with my favorite, I love you know, Mod Podge products, but I will go over this with the Mod Podge for glass and just make sure it's sealed on nicely. But this will be the only glass that I'm doing like this. So I will have something fun to serve people in as well as something that will make it easy for others to tell whose drink is whose. There will be no guesswork on that. And I can just pick these up from here. The glass, you know, the paint will take a little bit to dry. So it's still very pliable, very workable at this point. Sorry if I'm getting off camera. The tendency to talk and float away. You just kind of push it on there. Push it down. Try to get some right in here because obviously I've pushed with my finger. And love the little indentation there. But you can do as much beading as you want on this or a little. And if you like, like I said, I'm doing this and I'm like, well, I kind of like that design. Just put a few on. You know, make it some glittery and then leave it. Leave it alone. I'm trying to make sure the beads sit down too. On my last one that I did, not the, the oops one today, but the last video I did with the beads. Some of them are sticking out, which I, I liked it for that for that type of uh, painting that I did. They're fine, but on this one I'm trying to make them lay down if I can get them off my fingers. Yeah, my blooper video was a mess. I probably should have saved it, but I erased it. My good heavens, Amy. It's not like I've never done this before, because I have. If you have any questions feel free to ask me down below again keep in mind I, I do appreciate when you help me build my channel and that is what happens when you like share share with your friends share with your family anyone that you think might like my type of videos I'd appreciate it because again I am trying to grow it this is not really a hobby for me. I do sell my painted glassware on Etsy. Um, I will be posting a live a live sale on Facebook here soon. I'm trying to get everything together, get that ready, and I will be basically it's a restock sale so that I can get rid of the numerous amounts of painted glassware that I have so I can keep doing videos and sharing you know what I'm teaching what I'm painting with you all it's a fun you know if you ever think about having a party you know a paint glass painting party I know right now a lot of the thing is to have you know go to the canvas the painted canvases and such which, you know, that's nice. I like those. But I also like when it's something I can really use. I don't necessarily need to have more hanging on my walls because my walls are pretty full. But, you know, I could use things to entertain with. And that's what I look at this as. Or maybe even a pretty wedding glass for somebody or for bridesmaids. In an idea where you could get together and, and sit and make some stuff. 
would be awesome. Now knowing that some of these are going to come off with the paint, I am you know, trying to put them on a little bit thicker because I know they will not all be on here. This one is definitely working out better than my last. I think I had way, 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 way too much paint and it just wasn't, was not working. Because you will find if you have too much paint they'll slide off and hopefully I have just enough to hold them. And I do have some spaces in between so again I do expect some of these to come off. I'm not going to lie and say well none of these will fall off because they will. And it's something too you might just have to do some trial and error and see how it goes for you. And these are leftover beads that I have. You know, I, the reason I'm stating that is I've had people, you know, upset because I use beads on a glass, and it's like, you know, these are these have been sitting in a cabinet for quite a few years, and to me, this is a way to show you something to do with maybe some product that you have. Maybe you've done jewelry in the past, and you need to get rid of some of the beads or do something with them. You know, some of them aren't good for this. Heavy beads are not really the greatest. Probably if you maybe do them a different way where you can actually put a little bit more paint down to hold them, maybe then it would be okay. But what, if, what I'm doing right here, they would definitely slide or they might not adhere nicely. So I definitely recommend smaller. These are bugle beads, but even seed beads are nice. And I had a really great collection of beads that I was putting on when I was trying to do my video a little bit ago. I had a lot of neat beads, but they are no longer usable. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I guess that even as I'm turning this, you know, some of them are coming off, but I'm trying to press them down so that they're adhering to the paint. The paint will take a little time to dry. Again, if I were to, if I'm, were you and you were doing this, you allow the paint 24 hours before you start messing with it and trying to brush off any of the extras. And then if you want to put on some Mod Podge just to reinforce uh, them, that would be great. I, on the glassware, would not use the spray. I would use what's in the jar. The spray, you know, you just have to be careful with any time you spray because you're, it's just going to get all over the place. Now, if you're doing different projects, it's probably awesome. I got my rocks. I love it, but I am not a big fan of it on the glassware, and I have tried to use it on the glassware before. So it probably just depends on what kind of project you're doing with it on the glass. But I, I'm just not a good sprayer, too. I'm not really, I don't like spray paint. It's just, I don't, I don't have much, enough experience with it is probably what it amounts to. But anyways, I like this. I've got another one that's getting ready to fall. I just want to kind of look at the glass, go around and make sure that they're all laying down. Some of them are not. Some of them just fell, which is fine. Like I said, that's to be expected. But at this point, I would just let it dry and see what you get when you come back tomorrow. Now in here, it's, you know, I could dab on some more paint if I needed to. And that's something too, if you find that there's some sparseness and maybe you want to add some more paint to make it adhere better or to put more beads on it if you feel like too many of them fell off. I don't think you're going to find that though. I think you're going to find that you've got enough beads on it. You know, you'll have some that'll come off, as I mentioned. But it's not like they'll, you'll come back and they'll all be gone, because they won't. And then if they are, I'm not sure what you did wrong. Because I have not experienced that. All right, so here we go, and I think just it's very unique. 
Let me get this off of here. Some that fell up that way. Very unique. It's a one of a kind glass. It's not really, but it's just pretending that, hey, I got a mismatched glass. I don't have a partner for it anymore. What can I do? How can I make it look nice? And I'm repurposing beads and I'm making it making it unique at the same time. All right, so if you like this glass, give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below. If you're going to try this, let me know. And make sure you hit the bell so that you get notifications. And until the next video, have a good one.